Food allergy and intolerance have increased dramatically. There are estimates that one in every six people have an allergy or intolerance of some kind. So, what's the difference between an allergy and intolerance, you ask? Let's find out. Let's first dig into food allergies. An allergy is an immune system reaction, the body's natural defense system. In short, the body responds as though it's under attack, releasing antibodies or defense proteins and triggering inflammation, even though the stimulus of the attack, the allergen, is supposed to be harmless. If a certain substance in your diet or environment consistently triggers an acute, measurable immune response, you have what is known as a type 1 or immediate response allergy. Type 1 allergic responses are what most people and doctors refer to when they talk about allergies. Elevated levels of antibodies called IgEs in the bloodstream trigger a histamine reaction. Itchy, watery eyes, runny nose, hives, itchy rash, swelling, scratchy throat, wheezing, and coughing. In more severe situations, you might also experience anaphylaxis, which is potentially life-threatening and can include skin rash, vomiting, and difficulty breathing. Food intolerance, on the other hand, is most often associated with different types of antibodies called IgG and IgM and work on a subtle level, targeting specific organs or body functions. It often takes place in the digestive system and occurs when you are unable to properly break down the food. This could be due to enzyme deficiencies, sensitivity to food additives, or reactions to naturally occurring chemicals in foods, such as lactose intolerance. With intolerance, there can be a ripple effect, with confusing symptoms occurring as much as three days after exposure to the allergen. They can even vary in reaction from person to person. What gives one a skin rash may give another a headache. For these reasons, they are more difficult to test for and identify. 